Anti-trafficking experts in Edo State have expressed worry that despite the war battling with the coronavirus pandemic, human traffickers have continued to prey innocent residents of, of the state. Speaking to Plus TV Africa in Benin City, the Edo State capital, they said residents should exercise caution as traffickers are not relenting in trying to take advantage of residents' desperate move to seek greener pastures outside the country. The world now is fighting COVID-19, but that not uh, withstanding. We are still um, getting complaints, petitions on uh, people that were maybe deceived to travel. As I speak to you now, even I have some of the suspects in my custody, the ones we arrested, even within this um, time, you know, as this thing is going on, we cannot turn down petition. They will come down here, I mean, uh, petitioners, complainers, oh, this man deceived my daughter, telling us that he has been helping people to go to Italy. For the past two years, I am looking for my daughter. With COVID-19, the people cannot travel in the same way. And Libya has been badly hit by the um, coronavirus. And so it's very dangerous. In fact, travel as a whole has been impacted. Borders have been shot. Tiva, by having your children, your bright children, your young children, taking that sort of route, many of them dying. Those that don't die, the suffering that they go through is so much. They spend a long time recovering from it. It's very bad, very bad. No good thing about that travel, no good thing. That's why the governor is working to make sure that Edo State really becomes a place where even the poorest person can realize their dream, can become that somebody that they want to be. The situation that we are today has not uh, reduced the, the migration per se, because you see people are still there. People are still migrating from rural to the urban. You understand? So the only people that are listening, the only constraint that they are having right now is also the this is the transnational border. Why where we which also also lets you know today that people are still living but not in the larger number that we used to see. Nigeria has a thousand four variety illegal routes which are not manned by our security agencies. So whoever that wants to leave they haven't taken advantage of this pandemic because we have policy. We have a lot of attention, interest now are on curbing the COVID-19. Now, attention is being drawn from the a, the major issue of of migration into this into into addressing the issue of this and the the COVID-19. So, for me, I would say, pandemic issue has not reduced the migration, but the major the problem of the, 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 I think, what, I, what I think we should focus on right now is the hunger virus that is driving force of people leaving the country desperately.